Q. Several years ago the board asked for an explanation regarding our declaration. The board wanted to know its authority regarding certain issues within the development. The association's attorney did an analysis of our CC and R's and issued an answer. Since this analysis and the resulting letter are of a general nature regarding our association, is it considered attorney-client correspondence and privileged communication with the board only? Do the members have a right to see such clarifying communications, since the attorney was providing this information to the board and the manager, as the association's attorney? J. H. Mantika. Q. I swear you must have a direct line to our home. It seems every week you shed light on issues our board mishandled. During a disastrous modification of the CC and R's and bylaws, the board refused to give us a red line, have a town hall meeting, or simply identify the changes, so I called the HOA attorney. The board sent out a letter to all owners stating the attorney represented the board and that owners were not allowed to speak to the attorney. What is your definition of the HOA? If it is the members and the board, our board says the attorneys exclusively represent the board. J. M. Irvine Ia, the HOA lawyer's client is the association, not the board or its members. So, opinions are presented to the association, which speaks and acts through its board of directors. The attorney-client privilege is between the association and the attorney, not the members and the attorney. This was recognized in the 2000 appellate decision of Smith v. Laguna del Sur Villas, which held that the individual members did not have a right to access the HOA's attorney opinions. So, individual homeowners cannot force the HOA to share the attorney's opinions or recommendations. 